just for any of you, just what worked so well, I guess, defensively tonight? I thought we played a solid 40 minutes of defense tonight, and I thought that we got in the, to the passing lanes. We didn't let them get paint touches, post touches. I thought we stayed really solid today. I would say on top of that, too, our coaches put a lot of hours into the scout, and I think we executed the scout very well. We were very locked into the things that they run, and um, by that, we got a lot of stops and deflections and steals and stuff like that. Offensively, what, what were you able to take advantage of, guess, in this, in this game? Um, I thought I saw a lot of opportunities for me to take it to the rim. I mean, starting off the game with making a three really puts everything in like a good positive momentum um, for me. Um, but I thought just like attacking the rim just opens up a lot of things for the rest of the team. So just keep on doing that. <coughs> You're nodding. What does she add just as like a spark plug off the bench? It's special to have um, somebody like Kamo and even other girls on the team too that could be starting. Um, and they come off the bench and have that spark and be be the players that we need them to be. Um, I think it's, it's very special. I don't think a lot of teams have that. And I think that's why so many girls on the team get opportunities because we have so much talent, no matter if you're starting or if you're you know, coming off the bench. So. Wendell's been putting in the work. I've seen her in the gym before, after practice, and she's been doing those same dribble drive attack to the rim during practice. And I knew one day in the game that it would finally be executed. And tonight, I thought she did that. Good job, Wendell. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just for you, what has this adjustment to, I guess, Big Ten play been like if you have a game like tonight? I can't lie, it's been hard, you know, um, but very good. It's been challenging me on a, in a lot of ways, but um, I have amazing teammates that continue to push me every day in practice, out of practice, you know, with scout and, and film and all that. And so um, I think it's developing me in a lot of ways and challenging me in a lot of ways that I've never been challenged before. And so I love this game. I, I love it being here. I love being here a lot. So. Kendall, like how does your confidence like just rise as that game keeps going? Like, can you, can you feel the confidence just coming off? Yeah, I feel the confidence as, um, you know, I keep on, like, contributing for the team. I think um, getting open shots for my teammates or me going to the rim really puts, like, a spark um, for everyone. And a lot of my other teammates can do that, too. Like, Dee's a great person to drive to the paint. Our coaches always tell us, like, when you go to the paint, good things happen. And so either that's our shot or someone else's, but just a lot of good things happen when we do that. <laughs> Rebounding early in the game, like how does how to rebounding well early in the game? How does that impact the rest of the game? Um, getting those rebounds, especially on the offensive side, gives us those second chance opportunities, which kind of gives us the confidence to keep going, crashing the boards because we know that we can get them. Um, and that's something that I bring to the table is rebounding. So if I keep that up, then we'd be unstoppable. <laughs> They called you Wendell. Where does that come from? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just all, call her Kamo. Yeah, it's it's either that, but Kamo or Wendell. Yeah, I. We call her Wendy. Yeah, yeah. it just sticks. It's fine. I just wanted to make sure I was hearing it correctly. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Wendell. Well, there's two Kendalls on the team. Yeah. yeah, it can be confusing. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. <laughs> Well, there you go. You can laugh about that one for a while. <laughs> Thank, you. Right, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys.
Okay, yeah, I thought this was a really good bounce back uh, win for our team after a tough loss um, on the road at Minnesota. And, uh, you know, we've been talking all year about using um, using those bumps in the road as, as ways to really um, learn, improve, and get better. And I thought our kids really took that to heart and found a way to do that with just, you know, with, um, you know, kind of a day off after that Minnesota loss and one day prep for Michigan. I thought that our team was really locked in um, to our game plan today and, and did a great job on both sides of the ball to, to come away with this win. What's your, what's your reaction to how you rebounded tonight? Uh, I'm thrilled. I thought it's been um, emphasized um, for a couple of games now, but I thought, you know, Coach Mays did an outstanding scout for this Michigan game, and she just kept saying rebound, 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 the name of the game. We knew that uh, Michigan statistically was coming into this one averaging, like, I think they were getting 40% of their misses, um, you know, back in offensive rebounds. And so uh, that was a huge, huge point of emphasis for our team was the rebounding side. I thought our kids really took that to heart and, and we found a way to, to come away on the positive side there. It's been two straight games. You've really been able to slow down the team, stop scoring guard. Um, obviously, we'd like to win both, but you know, how, what have you seen from Jazz and just the team defensively? Yeah, I think um, Jazz is, has really set the tone for that. I thought she's done a great job of really being smart and playing high IQ and playing to tendencies. And I think it just shows you uh, what an incredibly high IQ, well-rounded basketball player that Jazz Shelley is. Um, we've seen her have triple doubles. We've seen her um, have great defensive efforts. We've seen her affect games with her passing, with her scoring, with her um, rebounding, with you know the way she defends and um, is such a well-rounded, um, high IQ basketball, versatile basketball player that um, I'm really glad is on our team. Kendall uh, Moriarty, uh, double figures off the bench. Just what did she provide tonight? Yeah, I thought um, Kendall gave us a huge spark, and I'm so proud of her. We've been telling her that, you know, there's going to be a time where we really need you to come in and make uh, game-winning plays, and I thought tonight was her night to do that. And um, I thought she came out uh, – well, first of all, up to this point, she has stayed um, diligent with getting in the gym and working extra with the coaches and, and just staying on point. So um, when she came and got her opportunity today, she really took advantage of that, and I thought um, – um, this was a game that was, was well-suited for Kendall. She was able to attack Michigan's aggressive defense off the dribble, get to the paint, get to the bucket. Also, you know, shot it confidently and, and hit that first three. Saw that go in. I thought um, played great on both sides of the ball. Defensively gave us some really good minutes. And um, I just thought it was a huge spark for our team today. And then kind of similarly, uh, Darian had a solid game today. How have you seen her just kind of grow through Big Ten play in the starting lineup? Yeah, I think she did a great job today of focusing on um, doing what Darian does well and um, finding ways to hunt the paint and push pace for our team and, and get some paint touches and stay aggressive and um, and I thought she fought. They, you know, they tried to post her up a couple times. She got a steal, um, forced a couple turnovers. You know, just just um, did what Darian does well and played within herself. And and really, um, it was great to see. I thought she uh, rebounded it well too. Just rebounded down the floor and and found ways to track the basketball and and um, affected us in that way as well. Going forward, what, what can Kendall do well that can give you another option in some games? Well, I think the great thing about Kendall is, um, and we're talking about Moriarty right now, yeah. Um, Kendall is that she um, has good length and size, you know, sits down in a stance to guard so she can be kind of one of those bigger guards that, that really can affect things on the, that side of the ball. But um, she's one of our most explosive guards off the dribble and um, and so I think if she can be able to confidently shoot from behind the arc and still put the ball on the floor that's a really good contribution. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thanks guys. Yeah.